everyone, it's Eva and I have no makeup on today because we are going to be playing with some new makeup toys that I got that I saw on Instagram and I was like, hmm, that looks real interesting. Let me go order some off eBay instead of buying it for like $50. So what I have, all of these silicone brush things, which seems really interesting because they were using it for even some powder things, even though I'm like, I don't know if it's gonna work for powder stuff, but it looked really fun to you. So I got these, but then while I was shopping on eBay, I was like, what is this? Well, actually, I knew what this one was, but like, I was like, what is this thing right here? And once I got it in, I'm like, this is real squishy. If you guys have ever had those silicone bras and it feels like fake boobs slash, I don't actually know what fake boobs feel like, but that's what I would imagine it feeling like. That's what this feels like, and I have to admit, it's pretty fun to uh, squeeze and stuff. I actually wonder if it would pop. Like, I don't want to pop it, but it's just curiosity, you know? Okay, so I know that these are generally meant for cream-based things slash liquid, probably not for powder, even though I've seen it being used for powder. I've definitely seen some of these brushes used for glitter. But you know, because I like to push stuff to the limits and out of curiosity, you know, for science, we're gonna do both things. So, this is the game plan. So this side of my face is going to be used for the regular makeup stuff that I normally put on, which is mostly powders because I don't really like putting too much cream and stuff on my face just because it feels heavy and I used to have acne, so it's kind of like, stay away from that stuff. And this side of my face, I'm going to try and use as much liquid or cream based type things just so that, you know, it benefit or it benefits from using those brushes or those brushes benefit from it. You know what I'm talking about. So I guess we're going to see what happens. So I guess we'll start with primer, since both sides need primer. So for primer, I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And I guess for my side of the face that I normally put on, I usually put it on with my fingers. So let's do that. Looks normal, nothing too crazy, blah, blah, blah. Putting it on. Yes. I guess I'm going to try this brush out for putting on the primer. I feel like putting on primer, you can't really screw it up because it's not like it's super colored and tinted like foundation or whatever, so you can't really tell the smudges. So let's just see. I mean, it looks like it's uh, shining it pretty evenly. I can't really tell too much through this Yuga Finder, but it feels like it's spreading pretty well. This primer, in general, spreads really well onto your skin, so not a big surprise. Well, I mean, I'd say that worked out quite well, and my hands are clean. By the way, the good thing about these brushes, or so that's what they sell on the internet, is when you're done with them, you can just wipe it off or just wash it with soap instead of waiting for like to dry for two days, like the normal bristle brushes, which is super annoying, especially if you have to go out the next day. Okay, so normally for this other face, I'm gonna use concealer, but because I'm using liquid foundation and stuff on this side, I'm going to put the concealer on after the liquid foundation. Let's just dab, dab, dab. I guess I'm gonna use the same brush. I mean, there's no smaller one, so let's just try and dab this in. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this spreads up pretty quick, but I don't know if it's just cheap and the silicone brush is really stiff, but it kind of does hurt to press in sometimes, so I don't know. But it seems to be spreading decently well. It does kind of get patchy though, in the places where it doesn't really form to my face, because this is a flat paddle after all. Let me just. Let me try using a smaller one instead. That's not huge and whatnot. Um, I mean, yeah, it kind of works better, I guess. It still looks real patchy to me, though. So now for the liquid and cream base side, I'm going to be using foundation. I don't really have liquid foundation, so the only one I had that was closest to my skin tone was the Estee Lauder double nude wear one, or wear nude one. It doesn't match exactly. It's a little too pink for my skin, but for the purposes of this video, we're gonna use it anyway, so please excuse that. So, it has this pretty little packaging and, oh, there's nothing, I forgot. I was so used to, for some reason I'm so used to opening these things and there's a little thing there and then you just use the thing. Why am I even talking? Like, I just keep saying thing. Okay, so I'm not really sure how this is supposed to work in terms of putting it on this thing, but I don't really feel like pouring it on my hands and, you know, dabbing it on that, so we're gonna just do this. Alright, let's just uh, spread this on then, I guess. I definitely don't like the feeling of liquid foundation. Oh yeah, this looks like it's a little too dark too. Okay, well, since it's generally on there now, I'm gonna switch it up and use this for the bottom half of my face, and I'll use the other sponge on the top half. I feel like this is gonna be real nice on my face though, so... Oh yeah. 
This feels nice. I quite like this. This is quite the massage. I'm not sure if the foundation is going into my skin very nice, but it seems to be working and it feels like a nice massage. I can't quite get into that little crack on my face though. I mean, I feel like I put a little too much on my face, but it's probably because it I'm not using a bristle brush and it's not soaking in. So obviously there is a lot of excess. It would save a lot of product too because you're not using a bristle that'll um, absorb it all up. Okay, so let's try this sponge. I know that some of these sponges might be a little more squishier than this one because this one seems more stiff than the other brush. But whatever, we'll just try it out anyways. I like I had a lot less product on top. Let me just bring some of this at the bottom to the top. I mean, it works I guess. I think I just prefer the other one because the other one's a lot softer. At least this one can get into the corners really easily. So, but I really like these two things in terms of putting on foundation. If I used a lot more liquid, I would definitely use it, but I typically don't, which you guys can see soon. Alright, so normally I, after my primer and concealer on my normal side every day, I just go in with some Max Fix Studio powder. But, um, it's, it's not cream. It's obviously powder, so we're gonna see what happens. I think I'm gonna use this brush because I feel like I've used the other brush for a lot more things. And this is an interesting shape because, you know, it's like, you know? Okay, so let's, uh, let's try this. Wow, I can definitely see the streaks in this as I'm brushing it. All right, let's see what happens. So, yeah, I don't know if this is going to work out. I feel like it's just, like, scraping off the primer on my face right now. And usually that doesn't happen with this primer, but, like, it just... It looks like it's starting to peel off and flake off, so we're gonna have to not use that. We're gonna try this one. So, do 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 do. That's kind of gross looking because you can kind of see it inside the wrinkles, but whatever. All right, no, this is this is not working out. These brushes are clearly not meant for powder-based things. That's just that's just gross. Okay, what if, what if I was putting powder as like a finish on this side? Let me see, I'm curious. Even if I just pat it. Actually, patting works. It's just not a very even application. So, gonna have to say no for that. Okay, let's go in with concealer, I guess. Let's see if this concealer gets scraped off along with everything else, cause that's what I'm curious about. I think I'm gonna use this just cause it has more of a corner and I can really get in there. So dab, dab, dab. Well, it looks like the foundation under is not moving around. So that's a good sign. Yeah, it looks pretty good actually. Hmm. Okay, so I guess let's try some contour and highlights. For the cream and liquid based ones, I have the Smashbox step-by-step -step contour stick and the absolute spotlight illuminating thing. I've never used both of these before, so this is a first time thing. Okay, so let's do this side first because clearly this side looks like it's, uh, it's not going very good. All right, so let's go with contour. I usually don't use contour sticks because I kind of suck at it. For some reason, whenever I try and use contour sticks, it just looks really stupid. So um, don't mind me if it looks really bad. Wow, these are really creamy, and that is quite the contrast. I think I might have chosen a color too dark, but the other one was really warm toned. So, this might have been the better choice. Like, I'm really not sure which brush to use. I kind of just want to use this brush for everything because it, it blends everything really well. But I feel like I should probably do the other brushes some justice, but it's like I just keep using this brush over and over again. <sighs> Whatever, I'm just gonna use this one since that's the one I'm most familiar with. So let's go and buff this out. Seems to be buffing out pretty well. It blends out pretty nice so far. I haven't gotten to the big dark chunky spot. Oh yeah, that, that looks real good. I think I might have put a little bit too much here. That might have been my fault. It's kind of funny because it gets onto my brush and then I feel like it just leaves oval imprints all over my face on this like I blend it out properly, and I want to streak it, but at the same time, kind of want to stamp it, but I'm not really sure what works best. I mean, that's pretty subtle contour, I guess. Alright, so now we're going to use highlights, and I don't really know how to go about this. I think I'm just going to dab it on my cheekbone. Two, three. Oh, that looks like a very pretty color. 
All right, so I'm pretty sure the black brush that I've been using this entire time is what's gonna work the best, but I do wanna use the other brushes too, so I'm gonna go back in with this one and see if it's any better. So, all right, that thing is not really gonna work. Oh, yep, yeah, that's real streaky. Mm. See, the problem with these is that I'm so used to using more product because it soaks into brushes, but now that I'm using these, it's like, ah, there's always too much product, you know? All right, all right, so this is blending out decently well. It does take a bit more effort to blend out than bristle brushes, I feel like, but then again, I don't really use liquid ones too often. All right, I think that's good. That's, that's beautiful. All right, super shiny. I quite like this, really. I think all absolute products are pretty affordable too, so if you guys are on a budget, I guess, this works out. I don't know how long it lasts though, because it's my first time using it, but so far, it's pretty good, I'd say. All right, and so the last face product I have is blush, and the problem with blush is, I don't have anything that's cream-based, so I just have this powder one from Sweet Cheek. I think this brush might be the best one for it, so, ugh, I, I feel like the corners are just like digging into the pigment right now. All right, um, let's hope for the best, I guess. So, uh, well, actually, it's not that bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. It is very hard to blend out, definitely, because it's powder in our freaking silicone brush, but it seems to be working out pretty well. Maybe it's just because I have a liquid base that it sticks pretty well, and it's not, you know, scraping off whatever is under, but it seems to be working out quite well. Wow, it's literally so pink in real life right now. <laughs> on camera you can't really see it too much I don't think but in real life I can promise you it is a very pink okay so now let's just do everything on this side but with the normal stuff and the brushes which I don't think it's gonna work out very well okay so let's go with benefit hula bronzer and I think I'm gonna use this brush for all of them just because I don't really want to ruin all my pigments and everything with the other things so we're gonna go with this and uh, see what happens hope for the best which I don't think it's gonna work out so great because I don't even have like foundation on this side because I just didn't want to go on. So yeah, this looks real gross right now. I mean, it looks more defined, but at the same time, if you zoom in, it's it's real disgusting. I'll show you guys at the end. I guess I'm gonna use Benefit again and I'm gonna use their Dandelion Twinkle. I mean, the highlighter blends in pretty well. It's just very splotchy right now. Okay. Yeah, it's very splotchy right now. It's kind of hard to actually get it in there, but it's not, it doesn't peel away at everything else. Maybe I just put less primer there, and maybe that's why it's not peeling away so much. I don't know. And then for the blush. I mean, the blush seems to be blending out pretty well, but then again, this is also the part of the Never mind, I take that back. The more I rip it in, the more stuff kind of just comes off, which looks more and more gross. Okay, well, I'm starting to... Well, I've already been giving a pope, actually, on the side of the face. Because these brushes are clearly only meant for cream stuff and liquid. Okay, so now for eyebrows, I think I'll just use this angled brush right here. And I think I'm just going to do the same thing for both sides, because... I usually use a wax type of thing anyways, or a liquid brush. I don't know what the hell you call this. It's the Cabral from Benefit, that type of consistency gel, I guess. And I mean, the brush is pretty much the same as the silicone brush, so. We're just gonna go with this. I'm sure it'll be fine. If anything, it'll just be a lot more defined. For some reason, I feel like I'm having quite the struggle to get the product on the brush because this brush is so stiff. Why well, I guess since you're supposed to see how red my cheeks are now that I'm zoomed in, it's really red in real life, but I guess from far away you can't really see it unless it's this red. And I don't think this is working out so well. I think I just need a bit more product, but so far it's decent. I don't know if it's just because I'm really bad at aiming or if it's just harder to maneuver this, but this is not... Because just look how messy that part is already. Okay, so this is definitely like irritating my skin a bit, dragging it over and over against the hairs and whatever, so I think I'm just gonna clean this up with some concealer and, you know, call it a day. Is there any way to like get rid of this blush now? Because now seeing it up close on camera, it's like, chill out, man. All right, and I'm gonna clean this up again. It's a bit too, ugh, I keep using way too much because I'm so used to brushes soaking it all in. It's so weird because I feel like these ones should be a lot easier to get like defined lines and everything, but if 
find it quite a challenge right now. Okay, I'm back. So here are my eyebrows. They look pretty good on camera. Actually, in real life, I really don't like it. Alright, so now we're gonna work on the fun stuff. So the eyeshadow, which I <laughs> I don't have any hopes for. I don't really have any cream or liquid-based eyeshadows, so... <laughs> This is not gonna be very fun. Anyways, I'm gonna start off with Urban Decay Primer version. I guess I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for the concealer on my eyebrows. So let's just apply this. I really don't like the dragging feeling of these silicone brushes, especially on the more delicate areas. And I feel like it's not blending it out as well. So it could also be a quality thing. I don't know if other brushes are like the round oval one that I have, but if they are, I'm sure it works out better. But clearly this freaking primer potion isn't even blending in properly or breading anymore. Okay, well I'm just gonna move on because clearly these tiny little brushes are not really working out. So whatever. In terms of eyeshadow looks, I think I'm gonna go with something neutral because I'm just trying to give these brushes a chance and give them the most luck or whatever chances of being decent and working out. So neutral ones are neutral, neutral colors are kind of hard to screw up. So I'm just gonna take some brown from my Naked 2 palette and I guess I'm gonna try and make it a bit cut crease, not really. I mean, this is pretty good in terms of getting precise lines, but in terms of getting the product on the brush initially, it's pretty annoying. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a darker color and use Snake Bite. Oh, yeah, that's so that's a lot of pigment. Chill out. I mean, if you're looking for precise lines, this is it. For some reason, this one gives me more precise lines than the other friggin' brushes. All right, so I think that's the best that's going to happen. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm gonna use my NYX Cosmic Metals palette and cover up all the gross um, primer that did not blend out very well. I'm just hoping the sparkles kind of just, you know, overlays it and you can't really see it at all. And it's just as if it never existed. All right, so it looks like it's covering up everything pretty well. Actually, now that I'm using a padding motion, it works out really well in terms of putting on the super sparkly stuff. Okay, and now gel liner, which I actually didn't bring any gel liner with me. All I have is my liquid liner. So I think I'm just gonna take this pointy brush, dip it in here, or like, you know, smother it around a little bit and put it on, I guess. Alright, so let's hope for the best. I do like how precise it is, it's just, I think it's the silicone that makes it really hard to, um, apply the product. Because this product doesn't really dry super duper fast, it does dry quickly, but and not quickly enough to make it this hard to apply. This might have worked better with gel, I could definitely see it working a lot better with gel, especially if you super coat it, but once you get through the product and get to the silicone, it kind of just drags. Um, for the sake of this look being complete, I'm, I am just going to go ahead and use my eyeliner as is. Okay, so here's my eyeliner. I'm just gonna curl my lashes, put on mascara, and put on some fake lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I was almost gonna say this is the completed look, but then I was like, wait. I forgot lipstick. Now, I don't think this brush is gonna be better than my lipstick one, especially if I'm using my Makeup Forever one, cause Makeup Forever, what is this one even called? Artist Liquid Matte Line Applicator is already phenomenal, and I just don't think anything can top that, but I'm just gonna do it for the sake of this video because that's just how it is. I may have to eat my words because, uh, this is actually pretty good. Okay, well I was wrong, that was actually not too bad. But this is the completed look. I don't think it's that good of a look just cause everything kinda just didn't go as well as I anticipated. Actually, I did anticipate it. But, well, this is the completed look and this is it. I also did ruin my eyeliner a little bit cause, you know, they kinda just turned into a bit of a panda eye and stuff, you know how it goes. <laughs> okay, so here are my overall thoughts. My favorite brush has got to be this one. If you guys use liquid foundations, I would highly recommend it. And also, I feel like these silicone brushes in general are, of course, easy to wash and everything. I've tried washing them before and wiping stuff off. It's just, I don't know if it's just the quality and it's just not feeling like this one and this one's more stiff and whatnot and more rubbery-like. It's just, it doesn't work very well in terms of blending most stuff because it's just so stiff and it just makes patches. It's just, 
I really don't like these, but more softer ones like this or the sponge, I really enjoyed. If I used liquid foundations, I would probably use it more. However, I do think that if I do use cream-based contours every so often, whenever the hell I do, I will definitely use this one and pull it out. Probably won't use this one just because, I don't know, it's just, it feels more stiff and I feel like this one blends a lot better anyways, plus it's fun to squeeze. <laughs> These brushes are also terrible for anything that's powder based unless it's like glitter that you're trying to pat on or something super shimmery then yeah sure it's just it tends to be very annoying in terms of picking up the pigments and some of my pigments are very very soft like my NYX pigments and it's just even if you're not digging into it or anything and you're just trying to get some product on there I feel like it destroyed my pigments a little bit and it's just I really don't like what it did to it so I would really recommend that if you do use it to only use the lip one which it didn't work better than the Makeup Forever applicator but that applicator is like phenomenal not to mention the sorry just bit the formula was really good as well so that might have helped I don't know how it works with stick lipstick or any other lipstick but in terms of that one liquid lipstick it worked out nice but in general don't use it for powder because if you use it for powder it's just gonna start to flake off and stuff and it's just it's not pretty sorry for the terrible skin close-up stuff but as you can see it does kind of this is the part where it kind of flaked off and stuff and you can see how gross it is really all right so if you guys did like this video please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos also comment down below and let me know if there's anything you guys want me to try or if you guys want to see any specific new videos and i guess by the time you guys see this i'll be back in toronto so if you guys see me say hi and i guess i'll see you guys very soon bye